Tonight at Junction City, McDonald's manager says they have video showing it wasn't their employee who put offensive writing on a police officer's coffee cup. You're looking at the picture right now. The Junction City McDonald's receiving national attention after the Harrington police officer says he received this coffee. Now we have blurred out the F word, but below you can see it also says pig. Now KSNT News reporter Dan Garrett is live in Junction City after talking with the Harrington police chief. He explains how the investigation is going in a story you'll only see on KSNT News. Dan. Mackenzie, when management at this McDonald's heard about what happened, they offered the officer a free meal. Now, Chief of Police Brian Hornaday just wants to know why someone would write that, and he's working to get to the bottom of it. A Harrington police officer stopped at this McDonald's like he does most days to get a cup of coffee. When he got the cup, he says this is how it looked. We have blurred out the first word for sensitivity to our viewers. Police Chief Brian Hornaday wrote on Facebook about his anger, saying the U.S. veteran that continues to serve deserves much more. We deal with enough frustration in our daily duties every day. To have something like this start off your work day while you're work driving to the place where you're going to serve the citizens is just very frustrating. Hornaday spent yesterday at the McDonald's looking at security tapes, but they didn't find what they were looking for. The video evidence did not uh, show or not show uh, whether or not an employee of McDonald's had written that on the receipt. Today, however, Hornaday says the owner of the McDonald's told him they found new video that proves it wasn't their employee. They told Hornaday they would bring the clip by today, but after hours of waiting, they didn't come because of snowy roads. They called him this evening, saying they would show him the video tomorrow. Acknowledgement that uh, something is done wrong is kind of what we all always want, whether it's something like an incident like this that happened at McDonald's or if it's something in the criminal justice system. I called the owner of this McDonald's to see if he could show me the video, and he said he wants to give Hornaday the opp opportunity to see it first. And within the hour, they did give me this written statement, and it says, My McDonald's have the utmost respect for all members of law enforcement and the military, and were troubled by the accusations made. And we thoroughly reviewed all security video from every angle, which clearly showed the words were not written by one of our employees. We look forward to working with Chief Hornaday as he continues his investigation. And we will continue to follow this story as it develops. Live in Junction City, Dan Garrett, KSNT News. Thanks, Dan, for keeping us updated on that. Well, Chief Hornaday says he is conducting an internal investigation of his own, but stands by his officer.